Salam everyone, thank you so much for being here again on another video on my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how did I do this art journal page participating in the virtual art event here on YouTube, the hashtag LoveFullArt. So let's get started. Starting with the uh, part of the texture that I want to add here at the bottom. For that, I'll be using some... Uh, uh, arts and craft glue now I could use some for more of an artistic material but why to waste it so um, I'll be using this uh, you need some water and along with that I'll be using tissue paper <laughs> obviously let me keep this one aside because it is bothering me so I need some tissue and I need a surface to mix these things all together all I could find is only this um, really nice container of a mini implant imagine I'm using this one but um, this is what I could find and I'll be mixing some water some uh, crafts glue uh, with uh, these tissues so let's go ahead and do that Before I leave this one to dry, since this will consume lots of time, uh, I don't want to uh, waste any extra time in waiting for the next step to dry as well before I start uh, coloring it. So uh, what I'm going for is, uh, this will be the land, the textured land, and then I am uh, going for a textured tree over here. This is ah, obviously I didn't follow the sketch, but it doesn't really matter. It only gives your brain an idea where are you going, and then you will just move from there. This is this branch is not connected to the tree. Mm -mm, it's no flying branches allowed. So here we go. I'll just leave this one to dry. So now this is fully dried and um, actually also off camera uh, I went ahead and I applied another a second layer of this glue on top of her here to make it a little bit more thicker it's a transparent so it's maybe it's not showing quite well on the camera but it will give you a nice uh, enough amount of uh, volume or body for the tree for this page it shouldn't be like a real tree but only an um, uh, only a hint that there is some tree over there when you just uh, splash the colors as I'm planning to do. So for the leaves I got this puncher from Daiso and I'm using a uh, regular cardboard. And so I ended up with uh, a huge amount of these leaves and I will be using this glue. I think it's only a regular craft glue but I'm not sure if this is an acid free or anything.
here we are back uh, this page was totally gessoed for two times uh, more than enough uh, only here at these areas where I had some yellow uh, leaves I gessoed uh, once more only a third time but then it doesn't really matter anyways the colors I'm using are contains white talking about that I am going to use these inks water based inks from PPO Colorex if if I, I don't know it's called Carlex a color X and um, it says here that these are inks actually it made from dyes and these are transparent inks uh, so the colors I'm using are tobacco in 36 and then orangey the saffron one in 32 then this yellow ochre 24 and the this one, the purple one in 29. at that hmm. sometimes things just work <laughs> I like how it turned out the green is peeking through the brown the purple that was smudged there I really like how the orange here now whoever looks at it for the first time will never tell what have happened but me and you we know what happened with the background and I'm, I'm going to the uh, to work on the uh, quote cool. 
I went ahead and I printed the uh, quote, the, the other part of the quote other than the word fall, uh, using my uh, Dymo Letra tag. Okay, so this is the finished piece. I am more than happy with the outcome. The results are amazing. Actually, this hard work, a whole day of working <laughs> and waiting, actually it's more because since I started this piece yesterday and I had to wait for hours for things and layers to dry and the results are way more than what I expected. I am more than happy with the outcome. The texture over here is really amazing. I really recommend using this one. Just make sure you are uh, to be ready for the uh, absorption of this tissue paper over here it absorbed a lot of ink but the results are astonishing for me <laughs> for me as a beginner the texture tree it's really really nice and it gives me the feeling of the fall all of those falling foley colors in the background and uh, to be frank I was planning for a totally different quote for this page but what happened in this area what happened with the whole piece like I was planning to go with this praise only but then it failed and then I, I was dripping ink and then I messed it up and then I was working here and I thought only spraying would be more than enough and again it it failed I used another watercolor crayons it failed and then <laughs> and then when I gessoed on top and uh, many of the areas were really messed up I just applied the layer of gesso and I was planning that I'm starting over and with only one layer of yellow it gave me this amazing amazing color combination in here this is really really the sense of this quote when things are falling apart they might actually be falling into place and this is exactly what happened with this space this was this piece and this was really inspiring for me hope it did the same for you you should always be ready to learn from the very simple and small things that passes through your day just be ready to learn and to absorb and to get inspired if you like this video please please give it a thumbs up and if you like to see any more of my videos please subscribe your support is highly appreciated let me remind you to go ahead and search for the hashtag lovefull art event everywhere on youtube you will watch m hundreds of videos uh, of artists created things for the full theme and until the next time i see you remember to be the best and the good you want to see in the universe and thank you for watching mm -hmm.